Welcome to the Tech Tuesday webinar. This is Brian Shenuel with the Cabinet Vision Tech Support and Training Department. Today's webinar is titled Solid 5.0, A Tour of the New CAD Tools. We have three sections. These are going to cover Section 1, Understanding Dynamic Snapping, Hot Points and Hot Point Markers. Section 2, Using the New Join Fillet chamfer, measure, and offset tools. Section 3, Understanding the Scale and Move Tools. This webinar is provided by the Cabinet Vision Technical Support and Training Departments, and this is a recorded version of the Cabinet Vision free monthly webinar. Let's start with Section 1. Section 1, Dynamic Snapping. Dynamic snapping refers to solids ability to intuitively snap to different points of the grid, walls, objects, parts, and even CAD elements. Dynamic snapping allows you to quickly and accurately perform many CAD related functions as well as speeds placement of walls and objects. Let's start in solid. Section 1. Dynamic Snapping what is dynamic snapping? Dynamic snapping refers to solid's ability to automatically snap to different points of the grid, walls, cabinets, parts, and even CAD elements. This can best be seen when we draw a wall in solid. As I go to click on walls and I start a wall, you'll notice that the crosshair, my cursor, is just a simple crosshair. Now as I go ahead and left click and start the wall, you'll notice that my cursor has turned into a hot point marker. This particular hot point marker indicates that my wall is on a level or an angle with my smart line angles. My smart line angles are set at 30 degrees. So as I rotate this wall around, if it's not on a 30 degree increment, you're going to see that my cursor turns into a simple crosshair again. But every time I wind up on a 30 degree increment, my cursor turns into a hot point marker indicating that it is on a smart line. There's another reference that we've seen here, and that is any time my wall comes across the center of the room. Now the center of the room is 0, 0, 0 and X, zero and the y-axis. So that's where we're at right now. We are right at the center of the room horizontally. So if I move my cursor to the right, we're no longer associated with the center of the room. So if I need it for any reason to reference the center of the room, this is how I could do it. So I'm going to continue and I'm going to make the wall. And when I left click and place the wall, now my cursor, as I roll around the wall, changes into different icons. We'll slow down so you can see them. Every time I get near one of the hot points on this wall, my hot point marker tells me, in this case, that we have the ability to snap to one extremity of the wall. That's what this particular hot point marker indicates. Now, the nice thing about the dynamic snapping is I can line my cursor up with the end of the wall and so long as I keep it level on that wall I can start a new wall in relationship to the end of the, uh, the first wall. And I can continue on down and when I get to the far end here I can do the same thing to the right hand end of the wall. So my two walls will be parallel and perfectly aligned with each other. That is what my dynamic snapping is. How can I change the settings for dynamic snapping? You can change the settings for your dynamic snapping in preferences and tools. You must click the solid button to go there. So let's go back to solid at the top of the screen I'm going to click on the solid button. I'll go to preferences and I'll go to tools. Now on the tools screen here 
we have the ability, like I, I indicated before, to specify the angle for my snap angle for my smart lines. I can even turn smart lines off. The tolerance bar here, what this does, is allows you how rigidly you want to control the ability to snap on 30 degree increments. Now in this case, if I drag it all the way to the right, then I will only be able to rotate my wall on 30 degree increments. It will not give me any other option. However, if I get a little bit closer to the middle, then I will be able to position my wall not only on 30 degree increments, but on anything in between. And if I go all the way to the left, which would be absolutely no tolerance at all, and then I would have, I would be able to snap on any, any increment period. So we're going to take it back up to where I've had it. Now the other options we have is we could tell for the sn snapping whether we want to be able to snap to mid positions, arc centers, or intersections. So these are all very helpful here if you find yourself needing the ability to snap to those. And we will see a little bit more of that as we continue. Also on our snap lines, I don't know if you recall when we saw that dashed line, that was the snap line. So let's change the color just so you can see what we're talking about. And we'll change it to a solid line this time. So what you're going to see differently is when I draw another wall, it's going to be a red line that is going to be our reference line for snaps. So now if we go back to draw a wall, now you can see where it turned red and it is a solid line. Now if the solid line or the color confuses you, you can always go back to tools and you can pick whatever color you prefer and you could indicate that it should be either a solid line or if you uncheck it, it'll be a dashed line. So now I've changed it to blue and it's a dashed line. So let's go look at the same thing when we go into CAD. We'll go to the drawings page just to do some CAD here. And what we'll do is we'll just draw a rectangle. Now when we're in CAD, one thing I want to make sure that I do is I want to make sure and set my cabinet snap points on. So when I enable that, you can see the hot points that appear on this screen here. Let's explore other areas where we can observe dynamic snapping. Let's bring in a cabinet and we'll place the cabinet in here on the wall. You'll notice that the cabinet has various points all the way around it and these are points that I can snap to using dynamic snapping. If I use the ruler tool, I want to get a measurement from the end of this here door or drawer front to the center of this left hand pool. So I can use the dynamic snapping to show me the center of that pool just by using the line here to get it lined up on center. And when I position it, I would left click and I would get my dimension 13 and 5 16 to the center of that pool to the edge of the door. Let's do that one more time. I'm going to use the ruler tool and I'm simply going to use my dynamic snapping to line up with this here end and then I'll come over here and line up with the center of that pool and my temporary ruler tool line shows up here as 13 and 5 16 You'll see as I roll my cursor around the cabinet that I have various points that I can snap to. So that is the dynamic snapping. You're going to find other areas that it's going to be useful and also as a reminder to make any changes to the dynamic snapping or the smart lines you would go to the solid button, go to preferences, and go to tools, and this is where you could even disable smart lines entirely. You could change the angle that your smart lines will snap to. The tolerance gives you the ability to force the program to only 
draw at 30 degree increments by snip moving this line all the way to the right or if you slide it all the way to the left there will be absolutely no control so that way you can snap to any increment you like. I keep mine about right here and that is uh, fairly good. A snap line is the color solid line again that's right here and the ability to control whether you're going to snap to a mid position, arc center, or an intersection that is controlled here.